Wheat Chex, Rice Chex, and Good Hot Ralston present Space Patrol! High adventure in the wild, vast reaches of space. Missions of daring in the name of interplanetary justice. Travel into the future with Buzz Ory, Commander-in-Chief of the Space Patrol! In today's transcribed adventure, Buzz and Happy are exploring a deserted city on the planet Saturn. As they enter a room filled with precious gems, a stealthy figure slinks to the door and aims a ray gun at them. Look out, Commander. He's got a ray gun. He's firing. Quick, Cap, run down that passage. Keep going, Happy. He's right behind us. It's dark in here. He won't be able to see us. Uh Uh-oh. Commander, it's a dead-end passage. We're trapped. We'll be back in just a moment with today's Space Patrol story, The Forgotten City. It's the serial of the future, the real space serial. The serial that's different from any other serial in the universe. The serial you see on Commander Corey's own breakfast table. Delicious Rice Chex, the cereal with a flavor like no other flavor in all the universe. Delicious Rice Chex, crisp shredded rice spun in that modern bite-sized design for easy eating. Delicious Rice Chex, a real space cereal. Gang, those bite-sized biscuits have space inside so they can fill up with milk or cream. Try Rice Chex today, the only bite-sized rice cereal in the universe. Rice Chex. The only official Space Patrol rice cereal, Rice Chex. The super cereal that helps to supercharge you. Rice Chex. At your grocers in the brand new red and white checkerboard package. With Buzz Corey or Cadet Happy on the outside and the magic space picture on the inside. Rice Chex. Rice Chex. Rice Chex. Rice Chex. And now, today's Space Patrol adventure, The Forgotten City. Buzz and Happy are flying low over the Sender Mountains on the planet Saturn, searching for a trace of a meteorology specialist believed to have crashed in his atmosphere ship in the rugged region. So far, their spacephone receiver has failed to pick up a signal from the automatic transmitter carried by the scientist, Byron Stearns. Professor Stern's transmitter must have finally conked out, Commander. According to Space Control, Saturn, we're very close to the point from which the signal came. Watch a view scope, Hap. We may be able to spot the wreckage. It must have been a pretty good crash to knock out that automatic transmitter. Let's hope Stern's had time to get a spacesuit. The ship's hull was smashed. He couldn't survive very long in this part of Saturn. Well, what was it he was trying to tell Space Control just before the emergency transmitter cut on? There was a lot of interference, Happy. Almost like a jamming signal, according to Space Control. The operator thought Stearns was telling him about sighting another atmosphere ship making close passes at him. Stunting or on a lab ship? Uh, If we can prove stunting was responsible for whatever happened to Professor Stearns, some pilot will be grounded permanently. If he saw Professor Stearns was in trouble, he probably got away from this area as fast as he could. We may not be able to trail him. Uh, We'll see. If that was the case, the pilot was further negligent in not notifying space control that the lab ship was in trouble. We'll just keep searching. The last signal from the professor's emergency transmitter tells us that his ship was grounded. I hope he didn't end up in one of those narrow ravines. There's a chance he might have landed on the other side of the mountain, Inge. We'll round that peak and circle back. Commander, am I having hallucinations? What do you mean? Well, I was sure we were 100 DUs from the nearest city, but isn't that an atmosphere shell way up there on that mountain? It certainly is. And it's no hallucination. That's the Dome of Rubeck. Rubeck? Yes, Rubeck, the forgotten city of Saturn. Well, what's it doing out there in the Sindar range? It was built centuries ago by one of Saturn's first space pioneers, a man named Lucian Rubeck. It's the last remaining privately owned city in the solar system. It doesn't look very big by modern standards. Still, it's pretty impressive, stuck way up there in the mountains. It's been deserted for nearly a hundred years, Happy. Lucian Rubeck's descendants lived there for several generations, and they gradually drifted away to the largest cities on the planet. The forgotten city. I'd like to visit it sometime. It's pretty interesting. I understand it may be reopened by the government as a museum or put to some other use. That is, if none of the surviving Rubeck family object. Well, why should they object? They, they are using the place. Technically, it's still their property. The government's legal staff has been trying to locate the Rubeck heirs, if any are still alive. Space Control Saturn calling Commander Corey aboard Terra 5. Space Control Saturn calling Commander Corey. Corey here, go ahead. The commander of Space Patrol ship has located uh, Professor Stearns. Is he all right? Oh, yes, sir. He's wearing a spacesuit and wandering around in the Vulcan range. 
dazed and shaken. The Vulcan range. That's a hundred DUs from the Sendar region. Uh, yes, sir. The automatic transmitter could have been out of adjustment. I'm glad he's been found. Did he say how he crashed? He wasn't able to give much information, Commander. And we haven't found the wreckage of his ship. Where is he now? He's being brought to Saturn City Hospital. He's under the care of a space surgeon in the patrol ship. Withdraw all patrols except the squadron and the Vulcan range. They'll proceed with the search till Stern's ship is found. Yes, Commander. Hurry out. Well, that's rather strange, isn't it, sir? About Stern showing up in the Vulcan range? Yes, sir. He was probably confused about his exact location. The important thing is he's safe. Yeah, and very lucky. His best bet would have been to stay with the wrecked ship instead of wandering through the mountains. We'll give Stearns a chance to recover from his ordeal before we question him. In the meantime, are you still curious about the Forgotten City? Yes, sir. Then get out our spacesuits. We'll land outside the dome and do a little investigating. How do you account for that, Commander? Well, there are two explanations. The dome is so well constructed that none of the poisonous Saturn air has leaked in, or else the atmosphere washing plant is still in operation. After a hundred years? Well, it wouldn't have to work very often. Everything inside the city shell to use up the air. Hey, that's right. Smoking rockets, this is some city. Look at the tower up there. Oh, Rubeck Tower. Lucian Rubeck designed it himself. He had his headquarters on the top floor. And now Rubeck is a ghost city. Completely deserted. Yeah. Makes you realize how impermanent human beings are. Uh-oh. What is it, sir? W- what'd you find? A small bottle lying on the sidewalk. Oh. Probably thrown there by one of the last people to leave Rubeck. It's a medicine bottle. Space sickness formula CH-12. And whoever threw it there hasn't been troubled with space sickness for a hundred years. I'm not so sure. This is a new formula, Happy. Hasn't been on the market more than six months. What? Keep your eyes open, Hap. Evidently, Rubeck City isn't as deserted as we thought. Come in. Orlana. There are visitors in the city. I know, Shefka. I've been watching them from the tower room. They're space patrolmen. What are they doing here? we got to get rid of them. Don't get excited, Shefka. By their casual attitude, they must think the city's deserted. But no one ever comes here. They must know something. If they suspected what we're using the city for, they'd have brought more men with them. Let them snoop around. It isn't likely they'll come up here. But suppose Graken comes back while they're here. I've contacted Graken by space affirm. He'll keep away from the city until the space patrolmen leave. Did he get rid of the lab ship pilot? Yes. Turn him loose in the Vulcan Mountains. Pilot's already been picked up. Suppose he tells them he was shut down near Rubak. Oh, he's in a very dazed, confused condition. Graken saw to that. Space Patrol will assume the pilot was mistaken. Besides, you removed all trace of the wreckage of his ship. Yes, and I destroyed the automatic transmitter. Then there's nothing to worry about. But Orlana, the Space Patrol men in the city... I know why they're here. The government's getting ready to take over Rubeck. We'll have to leave before they find the stolen jewels and space credits we hidden here. They won't search the city when they find out I'm the great-great-granddaughter of Lucy and Rubeck. What? You are a descendant of Lucy and Rubeck? No, of course not. But I can convince the government I am. I'm having special documents forged in Saturn City right now. I'll be able to convince the most skeptical attorney that I'm really the only living legal heir to Rubeck City. Mm, I hope so. But I still don't like the idea of those space patrol men snooping around. Let them snoop. And don't interfere, understand? Hey. 
Hey, this is some building, Commander. Yes, Happy. Rubeck spent a fortune on this one building alone. Here's the elevator, sir. Shall we go up to the tower? We could get a real good look at the city from there. Just a minute, Happy. Look at the carvings on this door. I'll bet anything Lucian Rubeck had this imported from the planet Earth. Mm Mm-hmm. The looks of it, the door was taken from an ancient Oriental temple. From a deserted city on Earth to a deserted city on Saturn. Mm. It's a massive handle. You don't see metalwork of this kind anymore, Happy. I wonder where this door leads. Commander, there's a light on in there. Mm, flashed on automatically when I opened the door. Let's have a look. We'll go up to the tower later. Yes, sir. Say, this must have been Lucian Rubeck's treasure room. It's amazing. Look at those gold and silver goblets and old-fashioned candlesticks. And look, an ancient platinum electric lampstand. I thought Rubeck's descendants had cleaned out everything of value from the city, but apparently I was wrong. Imagine all this stuff sitting here for hundreds of years and, and with no lock on the door. Hold on a minute, Happy. This object isn't a hundred years old. Why, it's a model spaceship, studded with jewels. Yes, and a very recent model, too, Get it. Diamonds and rubies. Happy, listen. I heard a sound at the door. Uh oh. Somebody's out there. Look out, Commander. There's a man with a ray gun. Hold your fire. We're space patrolmen. That's why I am shooting. Quick, Happy, down this passage. Look. You aren't going to escape that way. Keep going, Happy's right behind us. Yes, sir. It's dark in here. He won't be able to see us. Commander, it's a dead end passage. We're trapped. That's right. You're trapped. And I'm going to wait right here and pick you off, one at a time. We'll return to Space Patrol in just a moment. Hi, gang. Captain Dick Tufeld speaking from the planet Earth. Doing a Man on the Street broadcast this morning. And to see what some of these kids here on Earth think about the three official Space Patrol breakfast cereals. Now, here's a sharp-looking lad. Say there, what'd you say the very first time you tried bite-sized wheat checks? I said... Mmm! <laughs> and here's another fine-looking chap. Son, what did you say the very first time you tried bite-sized rice checks? I said... <whistles> and here's still another youngster. Tell me, what's your opinion of Instant Ralston, the hot super cereal made of rich whole wheat? Man, oh man, oh man, oh man! <laughs> Try them yourself, gang. You'll say the very same thing. Mmm! <whistles> man, oh man, oh man! <laughs> Yes, get them today, boys and girls. Rice checks, wheat checks, good hot Ralston. And remember, checks now have a brand new package with Buzz Courier Cadet Happy on the outside and the magic space picture on the inside. And now back to Space Patrol and the adventure of a forgotten city. Buzz and Happy were searching for an atmosphere ship crashed in the cinder mountains of Saturn near the deserted city of Rubeck. After learning from space control that the missing pilot has been found a hundred DUs away, Buzz and Happy decided to visit the deserted city. They entered the atmosphere shell without any trouble, but unknown to the space patrolman, Rubeck is being used by a woman named Orlana as a hideout for stolen jewels. While Buzz and Happy were examining a treasure room in the base of a tower, they were fired upon by Orlana's henchman, Shefka. Now Shefka has them cornered in a darkened passage and is waiting to shoot them with his ray gun. Half. Yes, sir. He can't see us. Lie down flat on the floor and make a scuffling noise with your boots. When he fires at the place he thinks you are, I'll rush him. Yes, sir. Don't try to sneak up on me. I can hear every move you make. I warned you. I'll take that ray gun. Have you got him, sir? No, stay down, Happy. He broke loose after him, Happy. Yes, sir. There he goes through that door. He's locked that door on us. We're in a spot. It's opening, sir. After him, quickly. He's in the elevator, Commander. Come out of there. Oh, he's going up to the tower. He'll take the stairs. Come on, Happy. Oh, you fool. You blundering fool. But they were in a treasure room at the base of the tower. What if they were? I could have explained everything that's there. I'm going to have a difficult time now after your idiotic interference. I'm sorry, Orlana. I only did what I thought was best. Attacking space patrolmen. They'd never have known anyone was in the city if you'd obeyed my orders. What are we going to do now? I'll have to face them and make an explanation. They're probably searching the tower now. If you get me another gun, I could still fight them off. No. 
get in the next room and contact Graken. Tell him to come in whether the Space Patrol ships outside the shell or not. I thought... Did You've it... done all the thinking you're going to do. From now on, just do what I tell you. If I can explain our presence here, I can explain Graken. Mm. If the Space Patrol's skeptical, mm. well, Graken's a good man to have around. Yes, uh, Graken can handle them. If you keep your mouth shut, we won't need Graken. Now go on, make that space phone call. Yes, Orlana. I'll go out and look for our visit. This is the top floor of the tower, sir. Yeah. I'll be careful, Happy. We'll search every room. I'll wait till I get my hands on that character. Half hold it. Huh? There's someone on the other side of that door. Oh, there you are. I was hoping I'd find you. We're looking for someone, too. Oh, you mean Shefka, my assistant. He told me what happened. I'm terribly sorry. Where is he? I want to talk to him. Well, please step in here. He'll be right out. Thanks. Come on, Happy. Yes, sir. I'm Commander Corey of the Space Patrol. And I'm Orlana Rubek. Rubeck? Then you're related to the Lucian Rubeck who built this city. Yes, that's right. He was my great-great-grandfather. I was under the impression that the city was deserted. Well, I came here a few months ago with a couple of servants. Shefka, the, the man who fired at you, has been with the family for years. Does he always treat visitors so cordially? Oh, really, I'm awfully sorry about that. Shefka has a great sense of loyalty. He thinks his chief duty is to protect me. So why do you live here in this deserted city? Well, I'm not surprised that you're curious... But the explanation is very simple. I'm writing a book about my family. And you like to work in the solitude, huh? Yes, it's a great inspiration to work right here in Rubeck City, where so much of Saturn's history was made. And, two, there are many ancient records and family documents right at hand. I see. I suppose that you can prove that you're a member of the Rubeck family. Oh, naturally. I can refer you to some influential people in Saturn City. Fine. Now, would you bring your servant out here, please? Well, yes. I'll be only a moment. Well, sir, what do you think? I don't know. I guess writing a book is as good an explanation for being here as any. As a matter of fact, a book about the Rubeks would no doubt be very popular, but we'll see. Hey, Commander, look at this plastic folder. It was on the desk. Let me see. Looks like an official identification folder. Happy, this is Byron Stern's ID folder. What? The lab ship pilot? Yes. He was found in the Vulcan Mountains. His identification folder is here in Rubeck City. Wow. How could he... She's coming back. Act as though nothing happened. Oh, here he is, Commander. This is Shefka. Commander Corey, please accept my apology. I was greatly in the wrong. I acted from a mistaken sense of duty. If you thought we were intruders, there'd be some excuse. But have you forgotten that you seemed to accept the fact that we were space patrolmen at the time? Well, I... I acted on impulse, Commander. Again, I am sorry. All right, Shefka. Uh, Miss Rubeck. Yes, Commander. I was just telling Cadet Happy that a book on the Rubeck family ought to be very popular. Well, I hope so, Commander. I'd like to look over the first few chapters of your manuscript. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm merely in the note-gathering stage right now. There's really nothing down in manuscript form that anyone could read but myself. I see. Then would you show me around the tower? I imagine you must have a lot of family curios. Well, uh, is this an official search, Commander? No, I don't have a warrant, but... If you object to an informal tour... Oh, no, no, not at all. Uh, Chef can I be delighted to show you around. Judging by a few items, Happy and I saw down below, this ought to be very interesting. Well, I think you've seen just about every room in the tower, Commander. How about that room over there? Oh, that's just a closet for uh, cleaning supplies. Would you mind opening it? Well, really, Commander, I... Or I, uh, I could come back with a warrant and a squad of patrolmen. Very well, if you insist. But there's really nothing in there. Unlock it, Shefka. But Orlana... Open it, Shefka. All right. Wow. Well, some real old family heirlooms. Stacks of space credits. And brand new. All that money in a closet for cleaning supplies? I suppose it is rather odd... But then here in this deserted city, one place is as good as another. I'd like to ask you something, Miss Rubeck. How do you happen to have an identification holder belonging to a space patrol scientist named Byron Stearns? Byron Stearns? Uh, I don't understand. Stearns was reported in trouble in this area, then was rescued in the Vulcan Mountain region. I'm waiting for an explanation, Miss Rubeck. Gray can get some. Uh, hold on up. Look out, Commander. <laughs> that takes care of the big one. Now, for you, my smaller uh, friend... Take your big mitt off me. Quit struggling or I'll break your arm. Ow! 
That's better. I'll help you, Graken. Get away, Shapka. I can handle them. You got here just in time, Graken. What are they doing here? They just wandered in. But they know about that lab ship pilot. They found his identification folder. And we'd better take care of them for good. I don't want any slip-ups this time, Graken. You better let me take care of it. He fumbled the last one. Don't listen to him, Arana. I can fix them. Hold still, Cadet. Ow! Oh! My shoulder! You'd better oh. hold still. Graken's capable of breaking you in, too. Yeah. And Chef too, if he doesn't keep his mouth shut. That's enough of that, Graken. I need both of you. You see, you big Venus buffalo. Chef Cadet! Stop break... that bickering! Watch those two space patrolmen. It's Graken's fault we're in this mess. He left the lab ship's pilot's folder in your office. That's enough of that, Shafka. If it hadn't been for your stupid behavior, these men would never have known we were here. Well, what did he do, Arlana? Doesn't matter. Just hold on to that cadet. Hold still, cadet, or I'll fix you like I did the other fellow. The other fellow is Commander Corey, the commander-in-chief of the space patrol. Oh, (laughs) <laughs> oh, what do you think of that? I have knocked out the great Commander Corey. <laughs> That's just fine, Grayson. Uh, but I've got more work for you to do. Uh, yes. You and Shafe could get rid of the commander's ship. Shafe could take the ship far away from here and hide it securely. Mm. Grayson, you'll take my ship and bring Shafka back. Mm, very well. But first, we've got to dispose of Corey and the cadet. I don't want any trace of them in case Rubeck City is searched by the space patrol. There's a room in the sub basement of the tower. Seal them in there, Graken. The room behind the stairs. Yes. And make sure you seal the door up completely. I don't want anyone to suspect that there's even a room there. You leave it to me, Orlana. Shefka, you help Graken take these two down to the sub basement. Yes, Orlana. All right, go ahead, Graken. Orlana, what did Shefka do while I was gone? To, to bring the space patrolman here, huh? You just follow my orders, Graken. And Shefka, don't stand there with that smug look on your face. Both of you report to me when you're ready to hide the command. Commander. Commander. Yes, Happy. We've got to do something quick. Where are we? In a room in the sub-basement of the tower. Orlana has one of her men sealing us up in here. Then they're going to get rid of our spaceship so nobody will come looking for it. That that big bruiser is out there. See, you can see him through the window. Is there anything in this room we can use as a weapon? No, sir, I checked. All there is is, well, some old books and filing cases. There's Graken grinning in here at us. He's getting ready to seal over the window. He's a monster of a man. He certainly is. He carried me down here under one arm. What are we going to do, sir? Well, if you only get him to open the door for a moment. But whatever we do, we've got to do it quickly. I don't see what we can do, sir. The door's locked and practically sealed. And and when Graken and Shefka get rid of Terra 5, nobody will ever even come down here looking for us. Where is Shefka? Up on the surface level, I think, waiting for Graken. I don't think those two like each other. They, they both seem to go out of their way to make the other look stupid in front of Orlana. Well, they do, huh? You know, Graken kept asking questions about what went on while he was away. I got the impression he wasn't very smart, but he's awfully inquisitive. And suspicious, perhaps. You'll see how curious he really is. Let's go to work on those books and filing cabinets, Happy. Huh? You take the files, act as though you've found something about Graken, point at him, pretend we've found some information about him. Oh, I get it. As though Orlana had a secret file on her henchman here at Rubeck. That's the idea. If we can arouse Graken's curiosity... Is he watching us, Happy? He sure is. He stops cementing up the door, and he's gawking in through the window. Point at him again, laugh. As though we had a great joke on him. It doesn't matter what you say. Point at the files, too. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, well, what a dope this Graken is. You know, he's just about dumb enough to tear down that concrete and, and open the door and find out what we're doing in here. Keep it up, Happy. We've got him going. Yeah. Hey, look at that big, dumb face. He's just aching to know what we found in here in the files, Commander. <laughs> Commander, I think he's going to open the door. All right. Ignore him for a moment. Act very interested in the files. Here he comes. Hey, what have you got in there? Nothing. Oh, don't try to fool me. I've been watching you through the door. What does it say about me and files? Why would there be anything about you in here, Graken? There's something in there. I know it. Some lies Shefka told Alana. Oh, sure. That's it. Shefka's up there now laughing at me. He figures he's tricked me into sealing up evidence against myself right where he can get his hands on him when he needs it. Graken, there's nothing in these files about you. Get out of the way. You can't fool Corey. Well, I guess that's right. Corey, you can't. Uh, got him, Commander? Uh, yeah. Oh! Uh, right, hold me, will you? Now, Corey. No, now, you, Graken. <laughs> Happy. Yes, sir. Commander, you knocked Drake and Cole. Yeah. Let's get out of here before he comes to. 
Shevka, hasn't Graken finished sealing up that room yet? No, Orlana. But I could have done it in half the time. That clumsy oaf. We've got to get Corey's ship away from Rubeck City right away. While Graken and I are gone, you might hide the stolen money and jewels just in case the space patrol squad comes here. It's a good idea. We won't take any chances. Go down to the sub-basement and see what's taking Graken so long. I'm afraid that Graken got a little too curious, Alana. Corey! Shifka, do something! Come back here, Shifka boy! Get him, Happy. Uh, let go of me! Come on, Shifka. I've got him, Commander. Uh, take Shifka's ray gun. Go down and bring Draken up here. Yes, sir. Oh, Commander, while I'm down there, shall I, uh, shall I bring up some of those files? What for? Well, sir, I just thought that the Orlana might really decide to write a book about Rubeck, because, uh, well, after all, now she's going to have plenty of time on her hands. <laughs> a preview of next week's exciting Space Patrol adventure follows in just a moment. It's a fire, a four-alarm blaze on Terra, but hey, what's the matter with that atomic fire control jet car? Oh, too bad. It's trying to get along on ordinary fuel. But wait, that fire control officer's filling the tank up with super fuel. Wow! Listen to that fire control jet car go now. It's supercharged, that's what. Supercharged with super fuel. Yes, sir, boys and girls. To really get going, the answer is super fuel. That's why Buzz Corey eats a good breakfast with the super cereals that help to supercharge you. Rice checks and wheat checks. Ah, there's a couple of really swell tasting cereals. And both of them have that modern bite sized design for easy eating. So, gang, get a quick start of the morning like Buzz Corey does. Eat a good breakfast with a checkerboard super cereal and get supercharged. Get them today. Rice checks. And wheat checks, the grand new packages with Buzz Corey or Cadet Happy on the outside and the magic space picture on the inside. And now, an exciting action preview of next week's Space Troll Adventure. Buzz and Happy are searching for a saboteur in the vat room of a plastics factory on Jupiter. Cautiously, they duck under pipes of hot gas feeding into the vats. All right, Happy, keep your ray gun ready. Yes, sir. Ow! Drover was right about these pipes being hot. Be careful. I'll get behind this one. Let's try number... Wow! What was that? One of the pipes has exploded. Blew a valve, probably. Smoke and rockets feel that heat. I... I... <coughs> Happy. Happy. Come on. we got to get out of here. My... My throat, I can't breathe. It's the gas in the broken pipe. That gas is poison. Be sure to be with us next Saturday for the exciting story, The Vanishing Lake, when Wheat Checks, Rice Checks, and Good Hot Ralston again bring you Space Patrol! Special bulletin for boys and girls in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and Knoxville, Tennessee. Buzz Corey's own space battle cruiser, the Ralston Rocket, will be in your area next week. Don't miss it. The Ralston Rocket. Space Patrol, an original Mike Moser production starring Ed Kemmerer as Commander Corey and Lynn Osborne as Cadet Happy, was written by Lou Houston and directed by Larry Robertson. Other players were Bela Kovach, Ken Mayer, Virginia Hewitt, and Stephen Robertson. Dick Tufel speaking. Now, don't forget to tune in next Saturday and every Saturday when Wheat Checks, Rice Checks, and Good Hot Ralston again present the new exciting Space Patrol! Be sure to see another exciting Space Patrol program on your local ABC television station. Consult your local paper for time and channel. Space Patrol comes to you transcribed from Hollywood. This is ABC Radio Network. <laughs>